people, welcome back. It's time for Move It Monday, back to school edition. Mm -hmm. A new school year is almost here, and it is important for your kids to have both a strong mind and body. That's mine haven't been doing very much the past <laughs> couple months. So whether they are in the middle uh, middle school, you know, college, whatever, easing your kids into a fitness routine can be challenged. Joining us live with some advice for parents is personal trainer Aaron Perry with Move Fitness. Good morning. Morning, ladies. How you doing? Oh, we're doing well. Doing yeah, I well. I can't believe yeah. school starts next week. It's coming fast. Yes. Yeah. So, so, what is the the importance of having a routine? Uh, importance of having a routine. That's probably one of the you know biggest things I focus on as a fitness professional for all my clients. Um, and you know the the fact I tell people is that ninety percent of your life is controlled by your subconscious and unconscious, uh, aka your habits and your routine. So. Uh, routines inevitably that's the process uh, that's going to lead to your results you know research shows that it's good for not only your physical well-being but your mental well-being as well yeah so as far as you know beginner exercises let's say let's talk about our college kiddos right you're going away yep. maybe for the first time you're going to be in a in a new routine everyone talks about the freshman 15 right yeah. so what advice do you have for for college students trying to stay on track yeah, good question. Uh, you, you know, uh, going into college, our main focus usually is on growing our, our mental uh, muscle, I guess you could say. So sometimes the physical aspect goes to the wayside. But uh, same thing, like I, I just mentioned, is building that routine. I know when I was in school, um, you know, the gym was shut down for a couple of weeks. So just in my dorm room, I just grabbed some milk jugs, filled it up with water and was able to do some bicep curls, some squats. You know, it's simple things like six to eight exercises, uh, you know, 20 reps or so. Um, another thing that I used to do before, uh, like homework assignments and tests is just a high intensity interval training. So some Tabata work, which would be like 20 seconds of high knees, 10 seconds of a rest. Then you go into butt kickers, uh, do that for eight minutes. And you'll notice that it'll get the blood flow and get it to the brain. So that way you, uh, you'll actually do better on your tests too. Yeah, well, those, are, those are things I did not do when I was a freshman <laughs> in college, and I gained that freshman 15 and then uh -huh. some. Also, eating was uh, kind of went down the tubes with sure. me. Sure, you're on your own. You can eat whatever you want. You're on your own. You're you, eating at you 2 a.m. You think you can. You think you can, yeah. yes, until your genes don't yeah. fit. So what are some <laughs> quick and, and healthy snacks and meals that college students can, you know, eat? Yeah, uh, so kind of stick away. Uh, if you're off the, the processed foods, the so potato chips, uh, things that you get out of vending machines and go for more, you know, vegetables, uh, try to eat the full spectrum of the rainbow um, to make it taste better. Get some hummus, throw that in there as well. String cheese is good. Um, and then another thing is to incorporate omega-3s into your diet. And that's going to be fatty fish such as salmon, uh, mackerel. Try to get eight ounces of fatty fish per week because it's, it's good for your heart. It's good for inflammation, but it's also good for your cognitive function as well. So if you can't get it in through fish, then supplement it. Yeah, these are all things that I wish I had paid more attention to in college because I think I yeah. probably would have done a little better in class and had an easier time focusing. You know, if you Absolutely. take care of that physical health, it's important. Yeah. So how about for some of our K through 12 kiddos? I, I mean, I would imagine that exercise can be a really good outlet too, just for energy and, and focus and all of that. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, again, I'm going to go back to the routine uh, aspect of things as a parent, it's important to get your, uh, you know, children set on these routines. Research shows that uh, if you get them set on routines, the likelihood of them to develop uh, obesity goes significantly down. So uh, proper bedtime, uh, making sure that they're getting their snacks put in. And then when they're doing their exercise, join in with them. I mean, make it playtime for, for everybody. So not only you developing your physical fit uh, fitness, but your family fitness as well. Mm-hmm. And I'll so this week would that. be the week to, to start if you're not already back on the routine. <laughs> mm -hmm. you got a few more days, right? Yeah, so. yes. okay. just a few. Well, thanks for the advice, Aaron. Always good to chat with you. Have a good morning. Uh, thanks, ladies. You too. And, of course, Move Fitness has two locations in our area. If you need some exercise help for you and your family, more advice from them. We'll put a link on coin.com. Hey, tomorrow on AM Extra, it is National Waffle Day. and.